my name is Steve from Statistics Fix, uh, and in this video today we've got this iPod Classic. Now, I'm not sure what generation this is, I think Gen 3 or 4, I can't remember. Uh, I've had this since new, this is mine. Uh, it's a 15 gigabyte model, and it's uh, 2003. I'm not sure whether you can see that on the back, probably not. Um, but yeah, basically, it's um, it doesn't stay on. It comes on temp for I don't know a couple of seconds and then it turns itself off. Now I'm assuming it's the battery um, because it is so old. I'll just try and demonstrate. It. There you go. So you can see the Apple logo has come on there now. And then it's gone off. And it's oh. I think it, did it flash a little battery thing there? And now it's got a black line across the screen. I don't... I don't know if you can see that. I don't ever remember it actually doing that before. Uh, it just used to just turn off, so... But this has been sat for a long, long time uh, in the... in the loft. So... I'm gonna try and take it apart. Um, now I've never done this before. There's a real probability I'm going to break it but it doesn't work as it is you can't even use it plugged in it just it doesn't hold enough charge to, to even stay on plugged in so um, I've got nothing to lose really so I'm gonna try and get into it I'm not sure how easy it is there's no screws so I'm guessing it's a pry open job now I do oh, it's just trying to turn back on again I do have a um, a mobile phone opening kit which I it's just the cheaper one off uh, off eBay, but I'm hoping that might allow me to get into this, and I, I'm hoping I don't have to heat it up or anything like that because I don't want to. I don't really want to do that, so uh, I'm going to give it a go and see if I can get into it. Okay, so I'm going to try. I've got a few of these different tools. I don't really know which is the best one to use, but I'm going to try. I might end up trying all of them. I'm going to try with plastic first because that's obviously the less chance of damaging anything. That does seem to be getting under something. No. Oh, uh huh. I think I'm in. I think I'm in. Yeah, can you see that was uh, a gap opening up now? Uh, it's not easy. Whoa! But I guess it's not meant to be easy. Now, is there anything attached? We've got a ribbon cable. There, what's that? That looks important. To remember to put that back in. Uh, is that a ribbon cable? Has that come off? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't wanna... Yes it does. Okay, it's just a little pull connection there. So that's the back off. It just says 040520 inside. I'm guessing that's not the 4th of May. Um, <laughs> There's the battery underneath. So can I just get to that? It's still trying to power up, I don't know if you can hear it. Sort of clicking. How do I stop that from happening? 
And I don't imagine there's much power in it, but okay. So the battery looks like it's is it just connected with those those pins there? Yes, it does. Okay. So, let's have a look at this battery. It is a lithium ion. Don't actually say what what the voltage is, but um, I'm guessing it's a 3.7 volt. But I don't actually know. But let's see if we can check. I'm not sure I've got anything that's going to fit in there. Let me check my multimeter. Okay, so I've got my multimeter. Um, let's just set that to, to voltage. Uh, let me just see if I can get across these. It's very, very small. I you can see the multimeter readings there. There we go. Is that on? It's coming up as zero, which... Oh! 3.7! Which is what I assumed it would be. So that... Does that mean there's nothing wrong with the battery? Oh, okay. So, 3.7. Uh, now I'm confused because I assume that that would have been dead, but may maybe it's not a 3.7 battery. Um, no. I'm going to go and check what the battery is supposed to be, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I just checked, and it, yeah, it's a 3.7 volt battery. So I'm I am slightly confused as to why that is showing 3.7 volts in it. Uh, did I, if I did something wrong, please let me know, but um, I did actually order up a replacement battery because I assumed that that would be the problem. So that's, this is the old one here, which I'll stick up here, and this is the new one, which, you know, it was only a few pounds off, off eBay. I thought it was worth getting one, so I'm just going to test this one and see what this one reads. It does say 3.7 volts on it. That's compass 3.3.9. 3 um, so I am just going to try the new battery in just to see if that solves the problem. If it doesn't, then there must be something else. There must be something else wrong with it. So I'm going to try that first and then. Can I just. I presume without actually fitting it all together, I can just pop this in. Okay, so that's in. Let's see if it comes on. Yes, it's come on. You can hear the hard drive whirring. Hard drive still whirring. Well, it's not gone off yet, but it also hasn't come on. Ah, there we go. We're on. So it is the battery. It's showing as quite depleted. Uh, I don't think you can see that. The screens on these things aren't great. I know there are brightness controls on. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a the backlight. Does that make it easier? You can see the battery is it's sort of a quarter. Um, okay, so I think that is the problem. I'm going to go ahead and put this back together now and then charge it up, see if it holds a charge, and then that's job done. 
Okay, so I've just taken off the, the hard drive to make it a little bit easier. It was just a simple push fit connection there. I'm hoping it just goes back on nice and easy. Um, just wait to have a look. It's a Toshiba hard drive. You can see it there. Okay, it's all gone back together nicely. Let's see if it comes on. Come on. Yay. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some um, headphones and give it a test. Okay, so we've got some headphones. It's been th that long since I've actually used this. I have no idea what music's even on it. Um, music. Playlists. On the go. There's nothing on it. So I'm guessing everything's been, all the playlists and stuff have been wiped. ABBA? <laughs> Adele? Is this mine? Backstreet Boys. Let's go with Backstreet Boys, eh? Yeah. Um, show me the meaning of being lonely. Let's see if that works. Works perfectly. Okay. I don't know whether you can hear that. Hopefully you could, or hopefully you couldn't if you're not a Backstreet Boys fan. Uh, but yeah, that's um, job done. I'm pleased with that. I'm just going to give it a bit of a clean, just to finish it off, and then, uh, and then, yeah, that's it. Finally, I'm just going to check that it uh, that it does charge up now. So I've just found my charger. And plug that in. The screen's come on, but I can't remember what it does. Does it actually show like a charging symbol? I can't remember. Oh. Oh, that's weird. That doesn't appear to be charging. When you plug it in, it comes on. The screen comes on, so maybe it is charging. I'll just leave it for a bit and just uh, just make sure that 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 is actually getting a charge. Okay, so I left it for a bit and it wasn't wasn't doing anything, so it obviously wasn't charging. But I've just found another charger just to check, and it it does charge with this one. Obviously, it's a faulty charger. So if you can see. It is now charged. How do you put the backlight on? Let's do that. Backlight. There you go, you can see the battery symbol going up. So yeah, it's all done. So I'm pleased with that. Um, and that's really the end of the video. Um, I didn't break it. I fixed it. <laughs> Woohoo! Show me the meaning of being lonely. Um, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.
uh, if you if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe for more Can I Fix It videos. Thank you and take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.